When it comes to male factor infertility, when you're looking at the specific parts of a semen analysis, you are looking at the sperm. So how many sperm are in that sample, the motility, how many of them are moving, and the morphology, so how they look. Okay, so all three of those are important. So not only is the number, and you need millions of sperm to fertilize an egg, the ones that are moving, but not just ticking, they gotta be moving on a mission. So I tell my patients, we want the ones that can run a marathon as fast as possible, okay? Um, and the ones that look normal that can fertilize. So many men will have all three factors that are abnormal, or their count will be really low, but the motility is good, but it doesn't matter if the motility is good if there's not enough sperm to get up to the tube, or their count is great. I, I've had a patient who's had 800 million sperm in a sample, but their motility is only 10%, so the sperm can't get to the tube, right? So depending on what the semen analysis shows guides us on what we need to do to evaluate why that male partner is having those issues.